Hello guys, Chris here, welcome back to another video with this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing a GeForce RTX 4060 in Elden Ring. This one is the MSI Ventus version of the card, we are running it with the latest NVIDIA drivers and I'm not manually overclocking it. You can see all of its specs right here in Tech Power Apps GPU Z, resizable bar is also enabled, and over on the left I'm pairing it with a Ryzen 9 7950X 3D with half of its cores disabled, which is basically the same as a Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. Very overkill for a 4060, you don't need this to achieve the same FPS. Yes. Over on the memory tab, we're using 32 gigabytes of DDR5 6000 MHz RAM in dual channel, and let's get right into it. Shall we? Now let's go over the settings first. I'm starting at 1080p, but I'm also going to test this one at 1440p and 4K. Ray tracing is turned off at the moment, and I'm using the maximum settings without motion blur. That's the only thing I changed from the maximum preset. And guys, I really wanted to bring you some Shadow of the Earth 3 gameplay, but unfortunately, they just keep postponing it. I'm not sure if I'm the only one or if I saw it wrong, but I saw it would be unlocked in like... Uh, five hours when I first saw it. I waited those five hours for it. Then it said one hour remaining. I waited that amount of time. And now it says there are four hours remaining. So I just, I, I don't know. I just want to bring you a video today. So uh, here we go. Performance shouldn't really be that different anyways between the DLC and the actual game. Oh boy. Oh boy, I'm almost dead. Yes, I, I just died. All right. Also, as you probably noticed already, the FPS are locked to 60 and I will keep it that way throughout this video and the next uh, few videos that I make here in Elden Ring because when I tried to unlock them, it worked, but it was a stuttery mess. And with the FPS capped at 60, it's not stuttering at all. It's very, very smooth right here. So this is definitely how I recommend you to play it. Get used to 60 FPS, okay? It's, it's smooth enough for this game anyways. It's a little bit of a shame that they still haven't given us the option to play with high refresh rates. I mean, it's 2024, come on. But anyway, that sucks a little bit, but at least we can see that the 4060 can do 60 FPS locked all of the time here even in intensive areas like this one right here with a lot of vegetation this is from what i've seen at least people told me i haven't really played the old thing through but um, that this is one of the most intensive areas because of that vegetation and by taking a look at the gp utilization we can also see that there's a little bit of headroom left on the 4060 as well it's hovering around like 60 to 70 percent most of the time in this area outside of the forest areas it's at around like 50 percent usage so with unlocked fps that means that we'd be getting like 120 frames per second right here or 110 frames per second and then back there in the forest it would be probably in like the 70s, 80 FPS range, somewhere around there. Let's see our FPS near the dragon here. He's gonna spit some fire towards us in a little bit, and it's gonna become pretty intensive as well. But you can see that it's not really that intensive whenever he's not doing so. 50% GPU utilization. Also, another good thing about having the GPU usage that low and the FPS cap is that it won't consume that much power. The 4060 itself is already a really efficient GPU, doesn't consume a lot of power, you know, at 120 watts TDP, but uh, now since we have it locked to 60, it's only utilizing around 50 to 60 percent in this area and it's only consuming around 80 to 90 watts of power which is very very impressive you know like the game is basically maxed out at 1080p here the adequate resolution you could say for a 4060 in terms of vram usage 8 gigabytes are completely enough you can see that it's only allocating around 4 gigabytes below that actually and uh, we can't really see the actual usage of the VRAM, unfortunately, in this game. It doesn't read it. And the VRAM.A thingy stands for VRAM Allocation. All right, and I think it's probably time for us to change it to 1440p. Or maybe ray tracing. You know what? Let's do 1440p, max settings, then 4K, and then ray tracing at 1080p, 1440 and 4K again. All right, this is it. 2560 by 1440 resolution using the exact same settings without motion blur. And let's start counting our FPS. Since we had so much headroom at 1080p resolution, we are still getting 60 frames per second without maxing out that GPU usage, even at 1440p. That's awesome, guys. You can enjoy a higher resolution that's much sharper than 1080p and uh, 
still get those sweet 60 FPS locked all over the time. Stop! Can you just die? Ah, I, ah, the controls. The controls on PC are, are kind of bad. Come on. I'm going to kill this guy. No, I'm probably not, actually. Come on. But we're doing fine, I guess. Can you... Can, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. His weapon is way too big. But we got him. Well, no, we, we got his horse, actually. Roach's enemy is dead. And now my enemy is also dead. We did well. We did well this time around. Let me just heal myself here. There we go. Go in this direction, I guess. Um, the other direction is way more intensive with all of the trees back there. But, you know, let's explore a little bit here at 1440p resolution. How did you jump in this game? Okay. Oh no, wait, we got the double jump mechanic. Maybe we can actually go there and double jump our way to death. Amazing. Well, at least we're here again and uh, now we can go to the most intensive area. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. And with this time of the day, it's, it's looking way better. The shadows are much more pronounced, you know, it's darker over here. It seems like there's a lot more contrast and I definitely do like the graphics this way. Damn. All right, let's go. It's not the prettiest game out there, of course, but uh, why did you have to change? I was praising the graphics previously, but now it's 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 brown. Damn it. Uh, again, it's not the prettiest game out there, but what counts is the gameplay is very nice. OK, and right now we're actually seeing 100 percent GPU utilization and it dipped down to the high 50s slightly. It was probably because of a little stutter, you know, because right now, even while raining, which is also intensive from what I've heard, guys, it's handling 60 FPS, just fine. A little bit of stutter there, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I guess whenever it drops down from 60, it has a few stuttering issues. Just like when you unlock the FPS, it stutters all over the place. Uh, but yeah, I, I mean, it's it's not bad experience at all. I thought it would get 60 FPS flat all of the time, but I guess the rain is also making it a, a slightly bit more intensive. So there's that. But uh, you can certainly still play absolutely fine, especially if you lower a couple of settings here and there, like the shadow quality, uh, instead of high to medium, for example, it will look basically the same and it will stay at 60 locked 100% of the time. Oh, yeah, I forgot to fight the dragon. Wait a second. I was going to stop it there for 1440p, but we need to see those fire effects, right? And I just remembered, guys, we have jacks in this game. So let's call our boys Jack. Uh, Jax, actually, yes. <laughs> and let's fight the dragon with them. To battle! Let's go! By the way, I've never killed this dragon. We came very close to it in uh, one of the videos in the channel. But uh, it was a long time ago and I was much better at this game than I am right now. <laughs> so it's probably not going to happen today, okay? I'm sorry. Alright. Oh boy! Oh boy! Tons of fire effects. It dropped to like 59, but only for a split second. It's still stable, see that? It's only when it's raining and when you are in a vast forest, a very dense forest area, that's gonna drop into the 50s. So no problem, even if you want to use the maximum settings at 1440p. Okay, now the 4060 is about to sweat, guys. 4K resolution, max settings, not a good idea, honestly, on a GPU like this, but hey, it's getting 40s, which is not terrible. And you know what, Jax? Jax, come over here. Jax, I called you to come with me, not to stare at the dragon. If I go in this direction, will they come with me? I, I really want Jax to, to be with me. I, I want to feel some company. It's very lonely, this game, you know, it's just everything wants to kill you, aside from Roach and the Jax. Where are they? What the heck? Oh, there they are. Okay, they're coming with me. Let's fight this guy. Come on. Oh, he's running away. He's afraid of their jacks. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a good move from enemy Roach. Holy crap. All right. Why don't you do this, Roach? I mean, he probably has done it in Red Dead Redemption 2, but to me <laughs> instead of to the enemies. Come on. All right. You know what? I, I'm done. I, I just... The horse combat with mouse and keyboard to me... I don't like it. These guys are very easy to kill. Somehow, I don't kill them with one shot, one swing, you know? Maybe we need to upgrade our sword a little bit. Am I gonna die? Please. 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 Where are the jacks, though? Are they still fighting the other guy? No, he's right there. Are the jacks dead? 
<laughs> they might actually be dead. I don't know. Okay. Well, anyway, if you're playing at 4K resolution and you're aiming for like a 30 FPS experience, like a, an older generation console, basically, I guess you can actually achieve that. And if you lock the FPS, it's going to be a semi all right experience. There are a ton of them right here, guys. Oh boy. Oh boy. No, 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 no. Roach, Roach, come back. To oh my God, look at that. They killed me. I couldn't even get up. Damn. Well, let's think about it positively. At least we're back here with a lot of contrast in the image, which I like. And we can see the worst case scenario. So let's see it around here, down into the 30s. It's actually not too different from what we were seeing with all of the NPCs on screen, is it? That was like uh, dropping to the 30s, 37, 38. Over here, I saw like 35 or 34 minimum. Yep, there we go once again. But with all of that stutter, you will want to lock your FPS to 30. You know, especially if you want a 4K experience at the maximum settings, which does look really, really good, actually. And at least it's not a complete blurry mess like other titles are. Also, do you like my golem over there from Lord of the Rings? <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna stop it there at 4K. You probably want to drop it down to like medium settings. Not even then, like it's still in the 40s. I'm gonna restart to make sure that everything applies, but uh, I don't think it will make much of a difference, honestly. Yeah, see, some of the settings do need a restart to apply, but it's still not that different. It's still in the 40s and 50s sometimes. And since we don't have the FPS locked, it's stuttery as hell. And uh, we got a lot of motion blur right now, but I'm not going to keep playing the game like this. You know, it's, yeah, it's surprisingly similar in FPS. We gained about, what, 10 frames maximum, but more around like 7 FPS. Because while fighting these guys, it was dropping to like 34 FPS, basically. And now it's like 42, 8 FPS, basically. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal, but the graphics still look very good on medium settings, though surprisingly similar to max settings so that's it guys i'm gonna stop it there all right and i'm gonna go back to max settings without motion blur there we go and enable ray tracing this is a 4060 what kind of ray tracing would you utilize with it's probably like high right i mean the rt in this game isn't too intensive so let's try it high on 1080p resolution and i will restart the game as well Okay, we're back after a fresh restart of the game. 1080p, high ray tracing, max settings without motion blur. Let's see, we had a lot of headroom previously, you know, with 50% GPU usage in this area right here. But now look at that GPU utilization, guys. It is going up to 100% at times because of the ray tracing enabled. So that is way more intensive it's also stuttering a little bit more than it was previously at max settings alone without rt and right now it's uh yeah, it's getting 70 percent gpu usage so there's a bit of headroom there but it's stuttering as well even though it's not dropping from the fps cap of 60 frames per second so i don't i don't know what's going on guys i guess ray tracing does stutter usually more in games uh, than just no ray tracing <laughs> options, you know? Uh, so that, that could be what's at play here. It's just, it's not, uh, it's not consistent and it drops FPS like crazy even at 1080p. What the hell? I don't think we're going to play at higher resolutions and ray tracing, guys. <laughs> First of all, can you tell a difference in terms of visuals? I mean, maybe there is a little bit of a difference that I can tell in the lighting here. I don't know, or, or maybe in, in the ambient occlusion as well, but it's definitely not worth enabling ray tracing in this title, in my opinion. Like, we were seeing 60 locked all of the time previously at 1080p resolution, and now it's, it's dropping down into the 40s. And maybe for what, 5% better visuals? It's not worth it, guys. Forget ray tracing in Elden Ring, at least with a 4060. Maybe it's worth enabling with like a 4070 and up. Those are much more capable GPUs that can actually run ray tracing just fine. If there was a DLSS option in this game, maybe it would be decent to consider 
ray tracing on the 4060, you know, because the LSS quality would surely make it 60 FPS locked all of the time, but uh, not like this. Thanks very much for watching this video. I'll be back very soon testing the DLC, probably not on the 4060, but in other GPUs. And well, if the DLC is way easier to run, I'm actually going to go back to this place here and start testing more Elden Ring in the upcoming few days. So stay tuned in for that. Catch you in the next one. Love you all. Bye-bye.